Hi, I'm Nick from Dorman Products. Welcome to our video on our OE Fix AC hoses for Ford and GM full size SUVs with rear AC. Air conditioning was once an optional feature on cars and trucks, but today, even the lowest spec vehicles include it as standard. Most people don't give much thought to their AC systems until the cold air stops blowing, and in many cases, the parts and labor costs to repair a troubled AC system can be steep. One challenge with this repair is the removal and routing of OE style hard lines. These hard lines are no problem for the manufacturer to install as vehicles move down the assembly line and the lines often last many miles. That said, they typically fail due to corrosion, although impact damage can also cause the OE lines to leak. New hard lines can be a real bear to install and on a used vehicle, the cost of labor to properly install OE lines can quickly add up. At Dorman, we have plenty of experience with AC system parts. We've also seen firsthand how these hard lines can cause headaches. That's where our ROE Fix AC hose assembly kits come in. Our kits make this whole job easier by using flexible hoses instead of rigid lines. These hoses can be installed without removing the factory hard lines from the vehicle. Our hoses are easy to route alongside the old lines, even with the limited space available in many vehicles, making these parts real time savers. We offer them for a range of popular SUVs from Ford, GMC, Chevy, Cadillac, and Buick. A lot of these applications are approaching the ages and mileages where AC lines start to give trouble, and we're ready for them with these kits. If you've installed AC lines on a customer's vehicle before, these hose kits install slightly different from the factory parts, and that's to your benefit. Let's walk through a sample installation. Your specific installation and routing may look a little different from the vehicle shown because each kit is sized for its exact application, but the basic procedure is the same across all makes and models we cover. First, a qualified technician should recover any refrigerant left in the AC system. In many cases, the system will have lost all its refrigerant through the leaking lines, but for a vehicle with a slow leak, there may be some refrigerant on board that should be recovered by a qualified technician. Next, access the factory AC line connections at the front of the vehicle. Disconnect the lines at the service ports, then move to the rear of the vehicle to disconnect the lines at the rear evaporator. With the lines free, you can choose to remove them or leave them in place. Some installers prefer to cut the old lines out to get them out of the way and keep the underside of the vehicle neat, while others rather have the time savings and leave the lines in place. It's up to you. The installation and function of the replacement hoses won't be affected either way. To install the new hoses, follow the routing of the factory hard lines moving from front to back. Connect both hoses at both ends then secure the hoses to the vehicle's underside with the included cable ties. Make sure that the new hoses are clear of any sharp edges, exhaust heat, or moving parts. We also include a heat shield where necessary to protect new lines. Lower the vehicle, recharge your refrigerant, test the AC system, and the vehicle will be back to blowing cold air for a fraction of the cost and work required for the replacement hard lines. We hope you like this new solution for GM and Ford AC hoses. And remember, if you need anything at all, the Dorman Technical Support Team is always available to help. Thanks for checking out our video on OE Fix AC hoses. I'm Nick, and I'll see you next time.